Fox Carolina First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent. Well, be careful out there in this heat. It's really kind of upped a notch a bit uh, over the last 24 hours. We didn't have as much humidity at play yesterday. We still got in the 90s, and now with the humidity, it's feeling like close to 100 across many upstate spots. 98 for Spartanburg, Greenville for that heat index. A little cooler up in the mountains where we've had more scattered showers, uh, but we've had a few spotty showers. Try to cool things down in the upstate, but not a lot to get those going today. So uh, your outdoor plans, likely not going to see a thunderstorm over them, but um, just something to keep an eye out for. We've had a little bit of thunder around uh, just south of Newberry and then over toward due west, a little shower that's diminishing at this time, but no uh, lightning associated with it, not experiencing any a strong wind with these, thankfully. A little downpour over Gaffney, cooling things down. We like these kind where they don't have, don't pack a bunch of lightning. We're not talking severe weather, uh, just the heat-induced little popcorn showers, and that's what's happening around McDowell County, but you are getting a few rumbles of thunder with that one. So you hear that thunder, get inside. Definitely not the kind of thing the kids should be out playing in because it is so hot. Lightning could happen at any moment. So over the next 24 hours, we're looking at more heat. We get the break in the morning. So this is the time to walk the dog, to get out for that jog. She don't want to do much after about 9 to 10 o'clock, other than maybe hop in the pool. We're looking at an isolated storm threat through early afternoon, but late afternoon is going to bring the best chance for those pop-up storms. So just have a backup plan. Be ready to pack it up and head inside if you hear that thunder outdoors. Now you can see we've got the heat index that's going to stay close to 100 over the next several days. Actual temperature will be down in the low 90s. So this is normal for this time of year and honestly the humidity not unheard of either. We often get these bouts of high humidity uh, but when we get these combinations it can be dangerous to be outside for a long period of time exerting yourself. So just again be extra careful drink lots of water. So as we go through the next several hours notice a couple little popcorn showers as I've mentioned will pop up uh, but overall we're going to stay mostly dry going into Friday morning, starting dry, but then here comes some energy from the north. First, we'll get some scattered showers in the mountains, and then a little bit of this is going to transition into the upstate during the evening. That's why those higher rain chances come between about 4 and 8 p.m., see right up along the 85 corridor and a lot of that's going to begin to slide south. So we'll get a little bit of heat relief late evening on Friday. We're also tracking the tropics. One little area with about a 60% chance of development, but it's right in the middle of the Atlantic. No threat to land. It's the Saharan dust that's really been keeping things suppressed. Look at this orange color spreading all across the Atlantic through the Caribbean, even affecting parts of Florida. Uh, this stuff actually causes drier air and it's a lot harder for those tropical systems to get going. So this has really kept things calm along the area where it's kind of a hot spot this time of year for development, but won't always be that way. So we'll be letting you know uh, if you're heading to the coast. Don't have to worry about any tropical systems, but those afternoon storms will be around highs close to 90 each day. And of course, you'll have plenty of humidity to contend with along the Carolina coast, just like we will here in the upstate. We're looking at scattered showers and thunderstorms Friday into Saturday. A little less of a chance on Sunday, Monday, but again, something that we'll uh, continue to monitor and let you know if that goes up or down as we look at those trends into next week. Lower rain chances. We'll look at that heat mid 90s on the way in the mountains. We'll have mid 80s this weekend, scattered storms and then isolated storms into the early part of next week with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Be sure to download the Fox Carolina First Alert weather app. Scan the code on your screen and you can get our app for free. It's a great way to find out things like that. It was the hottest day of the year today so far and also we track those storms for you in your neighborhood. Now,